kind of got into cycling um, as a form of rehabilitation for my knee. Had a couple of pretty serious uh, knee injuries from racing motorbikes and I kind of started cycling for rehab and uh, took it sort of one, one step at a time, one race at a time from there until I was sort of moved my way up into the professional ranks, I guess. Well, I guess Phil Anderson has to take a sort of lot of credit for, uh, for getting me into cycling. He was one of my sort of heroes and guys that I really uh, respected early days. He lent me a bike to, to start riding. And so after a week of training, I went into these training camps and I think he saw my progression after a week of one of his training camps and he saw that I might have a bit of ability. The beginning of 2004, I didn't have a contract. I found a spot on Amateur where I was getting sort of $50 per race that I raced, only if I finished. To um, 18 months later, I'm racing the, the biggest bike race in the world at the Tour de France, and it was a huge shock. Um, and it's the memory uh, of racing the first tour that you sort of never forget. The first time uh, turning onto the Champs Elysees for your first lap um, around the finishing circuit in Paris, you get goosebumps. And the second year you go back to the Tour de France, you, you wait for that feeling, but it's not, it's not there, it's not the same. So your first Tour de France is, is definitely something really special. And to get a, a third place in one of the stages, I thought that really justified my uh, spot in the selection on the AG2R team, so I was really happy with that. Simon Gerrans must be feeling quite happy with the move that he's got himself into this afternoon. So picking those breakaways, that's a, that, I think that's a really big asset that I have and being able to get into them. I know I can't uh, climb the biggest mountains with Andy Schleck and Alberto Contador, um, but the smaller days, they, they, they struggle to get rid of me. So as long as I'm there at the finish, I'm uh, with a group of uh, sort of non-sprinters, then I know I'm in for a shot. But we'll look at the speed of Simon Gerrans. A win for Simon Gerrans after four tours de France. He snatches the first ever victory. And that is absolutely delightful from the man from Mansfield in the state of Victoria. To win a stage in the Tour de France is, is like nothing else. And, uh, and it, it seemed to just dwarf any of my results up until that point. It made everything else feel uh, so insignificant. Um, it's a result that you have that follows you for the rest of your career. Whenever I'm spoken about now in cycling, it's Simon Guerin's Tour de France stage winner. You know, it's, so it's probably uh, my proudest, it's my proudest result. Somebody else went down oh, here just at the front end guys. of the main field. Uh, that was a nasty one. To be honest with you, I haven't really had any times where I've just, I've all thought it's all too hard. Sure, you have your tough days. And like I went home from the Tour de France uh, in 2010, bruised and battered, looked like I'd been run over by a bus and, and belted up in the process. So, um, yeah, you do have your tough days, but I guess that's like in any in any sport or in any business or in life in general. But um, it's not whether you knock, get knocked down, it's you know how quick you get back up that really counts. <laughs>